You have 3D printed something on your 3D printer and you are happy with the end result. Or maybe not, because you still need to remove some supports from your model. This is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other things you can do with 3D printing. To this channel and not so check your printer settings for the right uh, supports that it is automatically generated by some tricky parts of the 3D model. So sometimes it also happens that you don't need any supports. Well, then you are very lucky and then you have less work to do. But in this case, we are going to, or I am going to remove some supports on this 3D printed model. There are some tools that you are going to need if you are going to remove your supports from your printed model. One is the pliers. This, this is a plier that where you can cut the supports very easily with, but you can also use after that some files. You got straight ones, you got some triangle versions, round versions, different kind of ones just to make sure that your support removal is as good as possible. And that when everything is remove that you can clean it up very well. Uh, also one thing that you can use is a spatula. I don't recommend to use this as a support removal. However, it can be handy, but I won't recommend it as well. Uh, I'm using a glass bed. Don't use your spatula to get it off your print bed. It will ruin it and that we don't want to have. Some other tool well it's not really a tool it's uh, just some material when you are removing something that is a part of your model use some power glue to glue it back together just use it with caution and also when you are going to use some glue or super glue use it after you are finished and please don't throw away your broken off part so that being said, let's get this off the 3D printer and then we are going to remove some supports. So in this case, I'm using a glass pad and the 3D printer is cooled off long enough. I'm going to remove the first line. I'm putting the printer off. So, and just like that. It's very easy to remove. It's going to be very silent now because the 3D printer was printing for a very long time for the Inmove robot, it's there. But I'm at this kind of point that, oh, I was at this kind of point that everything of my Inmove robot that I need to print is printed. But now I have to let the printer rest for a while. That also means that my Twitch live stream is closed for the moment, but as soon as I'm going to print 3D print other things, then I will also make some live streams of that. Let's remove some supports. So now we are going to remove the parts that are the most easiest one to remove. And be careful with removing. Always make sure that you're working Clean. Always make sure that you're working in a clean environment. That sometimes when you have too much uh, support laying around that you can clean it up. So let's remove as much as possible with hands. The smaller parts you can always remove with with a, uh, a, a pliers, but then be careful that you don't break off anything else that is needed. Over here with the nose, I'm leaving this part there and try to remove as much as possible in this case. You should use gloves. I don't have gloves here at this moment, so I'm going to try to remove them as good as possible with my bare hands.
Okay, let's go into time lapse. So, like you can see, every support is nearly completely removed. Uh, the only thing that needs to be done is cleaning up the stand, but also using the files to clean up the smaller, smoother edges. Also, little areas like here and here, you can still need to uh, remove some support material. I've got some little things here. Just use a very thin file and then just try to get it out of there before going further. Just like you can see, it's it's it can be very time consuming to, to get every support out. It took me now something like an hour to remove all supports. But as you can see, almost everything is gone. Uh, also here on the, the stand, it shouldn't be that much of a problem to remove. Just remove this part and then starting filing or grinding. So as you can see, it's not that difficult to remove supports, standard supports. Um, you could see that the bottom, so the part that was on the stand was like that, that you can remove it easily without having those prints from the supports on the stand. So that is a good thing. Very nice. You can also work if you use uh, Cura slicer software or other slicer software. I know from Cura that they have a support roof, but also a support fundament. And there, when you have these settings, you create an extra layer that it's easy to remove without having those kind of imprints on your clean surface. So a little wrap up for this video. Supports sometimes are needed to get a successful 3D print. When removing it, you have some different tools that you can use. You can use some files, you can use some, uh, some, some pliers, some uh, side cuts pliers that I was using. Be careful, those can be sharp and try not to damage your 3D print. Also, use some glue if something is going to break off. I had in during the print uh, uh, support removal at on two places that I had to be very careful. In this 